Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you're well. It's Alessio and welcome to another update on Bitcoin. All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you a chart of Bitcoin that could surprise you and perhaps even shock you as well. Before I do that, though, I just want to show you what's happening here on this chart, and then I'll explain to you what is bothering me and perhaps worrying me about Bitcoin. This is a weekly chart of Bitcoin, as you can see here. And currently, as you can see here on Bitcoin, uh, something quite interesting has been happening here. Firstly, Bitcoin seems to be slowly making its way towards the 21 moving average. That's that 21 weekly average. We've, we've talked about this in a number of videos before. So Bitcoin is slowly, perhaps gradually making its way, hopefully towards this 21 moving average as part of this corrective process. By the way, something else also interesting happening here, which is that the pulse momentum, as you may remember, the pulse momentum, which fired back, uh, I believe it was back in May or June, when this fired, this momentum pushed Bitcoin significantly higher. And this momentum, as you can see here, is now dissipated. You can see the momentum is now going the other way which means that the force of that momentum of this pulse has now dissipated. Which means what? Which means usually when the pulse momentum dissipates, usually this starts a corrective or drop in the price. And that's what potentially may happen in the next few days or in the next few weeks. Now, let me explain to you what is beginning to bother me and perhaps worry me about Bitcoin, which is this. Now, here's the problem, guys. You may have noticed that a lot of articles and videos are being published right now pretty much saying the exact same thing, which is, let me just show you an example here. This was an article written recently on TradingView. And again, a lot of the folks who are writing these articles. Uh, they're probably good people. They're probably very intelligent and smart people. But the problem is that these folks are saying the exact same thing, the majority of them. For example, in this article, uh, what the writer is saying is that Bitcoin is probably going to make a correction down to the support levels we mentioned already in previous videos uh, to the 21 moving average or the 8000 levels and then start to consolidate and then start to make that big massive move towards the 20,000 and of course uh, 30,000 50,000 levels. So it seems the majority of the video makers and article writers are saying very much the same thing. Here's a video that was recently on YouTube uh, and you can see here they're saying the correction potentially could be over around about the support level and then we start off the major rally towards the 20,000 30,000 levels. Here's an interesting uh, article that was also on TradingView recently by a fellow called Flip Flip. And in this article, he talks about a 12 month forecast for Bitcoin. And what he says pretty much actually, I think this looks like the bullish scenario we mentioned previously. And he is saying essentially the Bitcoin could start the corrective move down towards the 8,000 levels, then consolidate for a while going sideways and then start to make that massive big move towards 20,000 and of course 30,000. So that's his general forecast for the next 12 months on Bitcoin, according to this article. So here's my problem, guys. Now, again, these article writers may be correct. They're probably smart, intelligent people. But my issue is this. My issue is that the majority of the article writers and video makers right now, they're all pretty much saying the exact same thing. In other words, they're talking about the bullish scenario, the bullish scenario we mentioned in previous videos. So according to this scenario, let me just recap, wave one, of the long-term phi wave move has potentially completed here at the 13,800 level. We are probably starting the wave two, the wave two correction down to the support levels, which is the 21 moving average, the 8,000 to 7,600 uh, levels. And then we start that big major wave three towards 20,000, 30,000, followed by wave four and five up to 50,000 and so on and so on. So it seems to me, guys, the majority of the article writers, they're all pretty much saying that this is the scenario that potentially could happen on Bitcoin. Now you might be thinking, well, so what? What's wrong with that? That's a good thing, right? I'm wondering if that's true. I'm wondering if that's the case. You see guys, as I'm sure you probably know, especially those of you who have contrarian brains like me, if you have a contrarian way of thinking, you probably know by now that whenever everyone expects the same outcome, usually the markets like Bitcoin, they usually do the opposite. In other words, guys, the markets or the price usually does the exact opposite of what the majority think is going to do. So that's why we have contrarian thinking. And that means this, guys, that means, if we just go back to this chart of Bitcoin, I'm beginning to wonder whether this bullish scenario is the only option in the bullish scenario we have. By the way, we do have another scenario, as you probably know by now, we have a bear scenario. And I haven't seen many people even talk about this bear scenario. So it seems a lot of people are talking about the bullish case for Bitcoin 
very few people, if any, are even considering the bearish situation for Bitcoin, which means that the rally we've seen so far in Bitcoin has been a B wave rally. And of course, that means once the B wave rally completes, as we think it has done, we could start the C wave drop towards the 2000, maybe even the 1700 or 1600 levels. And then once the C wave completes, then we start the major move up, the next major phi wave move towards the 20,000, 30,000, of course, 50,000 levels. So that's the bearer situation. But I'm beginning to wonder if there is a third situation we probably have not considered. In other words, a different situation from the bullish and the bearish situation. So let me explain to you what I mean by this. So I personally think that at the moment, the more probable situation is this. I think I still believe the most probable, the most likely outcome right now for Bitcoin in the next few days, probably the next few weeks, is that Bitcoin is going to gradually you know, continue this correction down to the 21 moving average, essentially down to the support level that I mentioned before, between the 8,000 to 7,600 levels here. And I think Bitcoin could likely uh, form a support, some kind of floor here, and then we could see a big bounce, a quite a major bounce back up, potentially back towards the 10,000, maybe 11,000 levels. I still think this scenario is quite probable. But the question is this, the question is, could this bounce lead to what everyone thinks is going to happen, which is the major uptrend towards 20,000, 30,000, and 50,000. By the way, I should just mention this, that if Bitcoin does not hold the support level, in other words, if Bitcoin does not respect the support, especially the 21 weekly average, if we close below the 21 weekly average and keep falling, and especially if we keep dropping below that 21 weekly average, that does open the door for a more bearish situation, as we mentioned before, the better scenario we mentioned before in previous videos. All right, guys, so the bottom line is that whatever happens on Bitcoin in the next few weeks, Bitcoin needs to protect this support level between 8,000 to 7,500. If it falls below it, as I mentioned before, brace for impact, that could open the door for a major bearish drop towards the C wave down towards the 2000 and potentially, uh, again, lower levels. Now, the question I wanna ask is this, what if there is another situation, a different scenario we may have not considered? And I'm gonna call this the wild card scenario, the twist scenario for Bitcoin. If you think about it, guys, most movies you watch now, uh, you know, in the movie theater, in the cinemas, they usually have a twist at the end, which changes the entire meaning of the film. And I'm sure you've seen plenty of those kind of films. What if the movie we're seeing on Bitcoin right now, what if Bitcoin is planning that kind of wild card scenario? You know, the kind of uh, something that Bitcoin is gonna do, some surprise move that nobody has considered yet. Let me explain to you what I mean by this. So what if Bitcoin does essentially fall down to this support level, 21 weekly average or this 7,600 level? Let's say it does bounce, okay? Let's say it does have a major bounce back up like this. And let's say it bounces towards the 10,000 or 11,000 levels. And here's what I think could happen next which is that I think a lot of folks out there, a lot of people out there, you know, the people who have been writing articles and a lot of the uh, Bitcoin traders and investors, what they might be thinking is, oh, here we go. This is now the next major move up, the next big move up towards the 20,000, 30,000 levels. And that is precisely what I think Bitcoin might expect people to think. In other words, that I think is the trap that people might fall into. And what I think might happen in this wild card scenario, in this scenario, what Bitcoin might do is after the bounce like this, after this bounce occurs, what Bitcoin might do is something completely unexpected and surprising, which is that it might make a major move down. Let me actually draw this in blue. So it might actually make a major move down, take out the support, take out this low that it made here, okay? and then continue dropping all the way down towards 6,000, maybe even to 5,000 and 4,500 levels here, okay? More or less the support level near 6,000 to, uh, let me just actually draw a boundary around this, around about here, okay? And then Bitcoin could form a low here and then start to make a major move, a major bounce, and of course a major rally towards the 10,000, 11,000, and eventually, of course, towards the uh, 20,000, 30,000 levels. In other words, guys, what we're saying is this, that what could be happening is that Bitcoin maybe, again, if this is wave one of the larger mega wave, five wave move, that's wave one, this is wave two, and then wave three could start from here. I hope this, I hope this makes sense, by the way. 
In other words, guys, that means what we're probably dealing with is A, B, C. Or, more precisely, I've drawn this more cleaner over here. This is the wild card scenario, guys. So what I'm saying is this. What if the fact that so many people right now are expecting the exact same thing? Again, as I mentioned before, let's just go back and show you that chart. A lot of folks right now are expecting this move. You know, uh, Bitcoin to drop down to 8,000 to uh, essentially down to the uh, support levels, to the uh, 8,000, 7,000 levels, and then consolidate and then move, move up towards 30,000 to the 50,000 levels. Uh, in other words, pretty much everybody's expecting the bullish scenario. Now, again, we do have a bearish scenario as well. We've considered this. But what if there's a third scenario? We call this the wild card scenario, where essentially Bitcoin pulls out a wild card, you know, up its sleeve. And again, as, as you can see here from this chart, what Bitcoin may do after it completes the correction, the drop down towards the 21 moving average, as you can see here, then it has a major bounce, the B wave. Everybody, pretty much everybody thinks, ah, here we go. This is the next move. This is the move towards the 20,000, 30,000 levels. And instead, what Bitcoin does is something different, which is that it moves lower, takes out the bottom of that A wave. In other words, we have an ABC corrective move and then moves towards the 6,000, 5,000, maybe even the 4,500 levels. That becomes an ABC move, by the way, as you can see, ABC corrective move and then completes the wave to round about these lows near the 6,000, 5,000 to 4,500 levels, and then makes that big major move up uh, towards that wave three. As you can see here, I've shown two paths here, one blue and one green towards the, uh, again, essentially towards the 20,000, in other words, towards the previous highs of 20,000 and eventually towards 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. So this is a third scenario that I think many people probably have not considered. And I'm considering it because so many people right now are thinking the exact same thing. And guys, remember what the great investor Jim Rogers said? Let me play the video for you. Maybe what I've learned in life is normally when everybody's thinking the same way, you should start at least thinking, hey, wait a minute, it cannot be right if everybody's thinking the same way. And it nearly always is that when everybody's thinking the same way, somebody's not thinking, and you should at least examine the other side. So guys, as you heard there in that video, whenever everyone is expecting the same thing, whenever everyone is thinking the same way, somebody is not thinking, we should start examining the other side. So that's why I think we should examine the other side. We should examine other scenarios. Now, I'm not saying this is the scenario that's gonna happen on Bitcoin. We don't know. We don't know if this is the scenario that's gonna play out. All I'm saying is this, all I'm saying, guys, is this, that it seems to me the majority of folks out there are all convinced that the bullish scenario is the most likely and the most probable scenario out there. And I personally think, you know what, guys? If that's what everybody thinks is gonna happen, maybe somebody is not thinking and we should consider other scenarios. Again, I've already mentioned, we're probably one of the few people out there that have already considered the bearish situation for Bitcoin. But what I'm saying is, apart from the bearish situation, there is probably another scenario out there, the wild card, the uh, curveball, whatever you wanna call it, the twist, that Bitcoin actually may surprise everyone uh, you know, as I said before, maybe it comes down to the moving average, the 21 weekly average has a bounce and everyone thinks, oh, wow, here we go. We're going to go higher. Instead, Bitcoin turns around, takes that low out, moves towards the 6,000, 5,000 and 4,500 levels and then starts to rally from here. In other words, the low point, the wave two, might complete somewhere lower than we think is going to complete. So by the way, let me know what you think. Uh, what do you think could be the more likely scenario? Do you think it's this scenario or is it the bearish or the bullish situation? All right, guys, let me know in the comments section.